everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Wheel Drive Touring with another episode of Toys. Gone from not having any one to doing a few, but anyway, today behind me you can see a pretty good looking 76. So as soon as the intro has been and done, you'll get to have a look at it. Just hang in there for a tick. If you're into your customs, for your off-roading stuff, for your long distance travel and electrical needs, for just checking out the bits and bobs of other people's gear. If you want to see it, and it's modified, from Paturas to Tough Trucks, we've got them all here. The Mud Ducks 4 wheel drive touring, or as we like to call it, toys. As you can see behind me, I've got a nice looking 76, but I know absolutely nothing about. Some of you may have seen it, but we'll introduce the owner and he'll tell us all about it. Wander in. G'day, Shad. How you going, mate? Good, yeah. mate. Now, anybody who's not new to YouTube should know this man. <laughs> Shad has been around for a while. I'll put link his channel below, but if you're not on Chad's channel, get on it. All right. We are going to get straight into it. I'm not going to be on the camera. I'm going to be behind the camera. And Shad is going to tell us all about his truck when I've just adjust you. All right, Shad, we'll start at the front and get into it. There's a lot to see here. Okay, well, first of all, it's a 2016 model um, Land Cruiser 76 series. So, um, yeah, we, we bought it brand new. Nice. Yeah. And it's... It looks not standard, Matt. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have done a lot of work to it since we bought it new. So up the front, we've got the ARB bull bar. Yep. And we're running the carbon winch with the Factor 55 um, flat link. Nice. Yep. We've got some Steedy uh, Type X Pro lights. Now, they're not the first light you ran on this, are they? No. So I had the Light Force HTX ones. They yep. were a really, really good light, but they kept... Um, failing on me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So Light Force were good about it. They always fixed them and and everything. So in the end, um, I just ended up getting rid of them. Okay. You need lights that are going to work when you need them to work. Yeah. Yeah. All good. Yeah. And what about the foggies? What are they? Just for the just the standard ones that come out of the um, normal bumper bar. All right. Yeah. They just fit into that ARB bar. Oh, nice. And yeah. And UHF aerial. Yeah. So got the it's just the Oricon one. Um, that's a three DBI. This top bit unscrews, yep. it's on the bit tight there, that unscrews, and I got an extension piece that then turns it into six and a half DBI. Okay, and how do you find that? Um, fine for what I do. Yep. Cool. We don't even normally put the top bit on, that's that's good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm finding yeah. that with my smaller aerials these days yeah. too, so don't yeah. really need the big ones. Yeah, because often on our big trips, we're just by ourselves, so you only really want to talk to maybe a truck if you're gonna or someone yeah. that's close to you we're not trying to get that distance or anything so yeah so you like we've got no friends yeah yeah fair <laughs> enough <laughs> all right we'll go around the side it looks like plenty going on now we're camping here guys so this truck's set up in camp mode at the moment yeah 
So Just running the go for it, mate. You got so much stuff here. All right, running the Safari Armax snorkel yep. on this. So uh, remove the factory one because it has a lot of um, joins. And Toyota really only recommended it as an elevated air intake. Yep. So we've got the um, Safari Armax straight up there. It's a big, big, um, big snorkel. Yeah, they're good, eh? Yeah. yeah. You didn't want to go a stainless or anything? You... Nah, I'm just, I don't know, a bit old school when it comes to the, just like my safari snorkels. Yeah, I'm a bit With the like ram head. Too. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, I really like them. Yeah. Right, well, we might go from top to bottom because there's so much. Uh, okay. Start up the top, mate. And what do you got? Yeah. You got every fluffy thing. <laughs> yeah. So I've got the um, Rhino uh, platform. Yep. Roof rack. And um, up the front. On there, we've got a 110 watt solar panel. All right, I'll um, get a shot of that shortly. It'll yeah, be all good. Yep, and that that feeds the second battery when the ignition is off. So, yeah. um, if it was sunny now, it, that would be charging. It's probably getting a little bit now. Yeah. Um, we've got the shovel mounted on the side. Um, got the kick-ass um, shower tent. Yep. Here. Keep finding that. That's um, really good. Yeah. Um, it's copped a bit of a hiding. But um, it's, we've, you know, I've lent the whole car over, the, over onto this, onto okay. a tree, and it's still working all right. I mean, I've torn the bag a bit, but yeah. it's going okay. Yeah. And, of course, we've got those on the rack spracks, so I can easily remove them. Ah, the rack spracks. Yeah, yeah. And um, you, you might as well tell us a story about your rack spracks, <laughs> mate. Or yeah. You... So if you're interested in removing your awning real quick, like I'll show you right now, so when I get home... These awnings come off and live in the garage like How that. How is that? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. They're pretty cool. And then cool. there's another cover plate that goes there. They're also lockable, so if you're yeah. worried about someone nicking that awning, you can lock those there. Oh, that, that's pretty good. I like that idea. Yeah, so. And Shad's an ambassador for Rax Brax, aren't you, mate? That's right. So if you'd like a set of these, you can um, order them online and use the code SHAD15. Yep. And um, yeah, you get 15% off. So, That's awesome. Yeah. I'll link all this stuff below, guys, if you forget it. But uh, yeah, you can use Shad 15. So it's got nothing to do with my channel. Shad gets a slight little kickback from it, which is cool. But why not? And you pay less money for them. That yeah. sounds like a plan. Yeah, so up the back now, on the back of the rack, um, we've got four Max tracks just stacked there. And they're nice and easy to get off. Black ones? Yeah. I'm like, I like black ones. Yeah. So through the window, we can see some solar screen stuff. Yeah, there's, uh, that's the brand too, solar screen. Oh, yeah, you just yeah. thought it. Yeah. <laughs> and, a, and just a few, a few stickers. Stickers, yeah. as you do. Yeah. Famous YouTubers, less famous YouTubers. Yeah. Anyway, what else we got going on down here, mate? Um, so, well, let's, we got the, I got some rock sliders on the side. These are um, SC, SCF, Southern Cross Fab. Yep. So they're, um, they're pretty, pretty serious. Good. Yeah, we got the um, clear view mirrors. These are the cut down version. Um, so they sit in a bit neater. Yeah. Yeah, they look good like that. Yeah. I mean, most clear views are really wide, but those yep. just seem to really fit nice. So. Yeah, so these are a cut down version. I got them done at Jackson's 4x4. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So rims and tyres. Yep. Um, running the RO, ROH Octagons. And I'm running a. They've um, done some work, haven't they? Yeah, <laughs> they have done some work. Yeah. Yeah. And um, running the Maxxis Razor mud tyre in a 285-75-16. Nice, so pretty well a 33, yeah. Yeah, pretty much a 13, that's correct, yeah. You're looking through here, what, what am I seeing in here, mate? There's all sorts of shiny stuff going on there. Yeah, there is. What's so we've that? recently done a bit of work in the front of this to try and get a bit of movement. But um, so we have in there now some PSR flexi coils. Yep. And a um, superior 2.0 remote rear shock. So it's a two inch spring, five inch lift shock, which gives me more travel. Nice. And I also have the superior arms. Superior arms. Superior arms. Hey. Definitely got some work going on in there. Yeah, I've had to do a lot of work relocating the ABS lines off the sway bar. Yeah. Um, yeah, so 
Yeah. There's a fair bit going on in there, braided brake lines. Nice. Yeah, the works. Yeah. And Shad has a video on this on his channel. Go over there and check out more detail if you want it. Anything special going on up the back in the suspension there or are we so the back at the moment suspension is still just my old setup yep um it's just some pretty heavy duty leaf springs um i do have the superior high clearance plates okay yeah for underneath and um, i'm just running a, a um, levels shock absorber in the back but that's all about to change i'm gonna do um maybe some parabolics yep in the back and a, and a remote red shock like the front oh, but i'm nice. just saving up a bit more money after spending all that <laughs> on the front <laughs> yeah, it's not cheap it yeah. never ends does it yeah and also um anyone that knows 70 series knows that the wheel track on the back is um narrower by 100 mil from factory all right so I've had the wheel track changed in this. I've got the multi-drive true tracker. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but before I could do that, I had to um, change the housing. So these have a weaker housing. So I ended up getting a 79 housing out of a ute. Yeah. And um, that housing's in this car with the true tracker on there. So it's oh, got nice. a strengthened housing in it. Yeah, so yeah. It's stronger than factory then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. So yeah. I was pretty happy with the, the multi-drive kit. Still runs um, all my factory wheel bearings. Yeah. factory handbrake setup everything's all the same so, so it's all the right yeah stuff. if i need to get parts easy yeah yeah okay all right so running around to the back here we go there's all sorts of gear going on here <laughs> wheel bags and yeah so we've got the kmar kmar rebar yep and i got the spare on one tire on this side yep high lift jack and a rubbish bag it covers everything what's yep. this bloody stainless looking thing oh, here what's, what's so, that about so this is that's a protector from mavi innovation so okay. if you happen to open your door open this try and open this door without um opening your your wheel carrier oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. or if they happen to clash it's going to protect the door oh, that's a good idea isn't it yeah it's going to protect your door and yeah because nice. those doors are pretty thin they'll ding too easy and ah. stop it from scratching yeah that's a great idea yeah yeah maybe innovation that's right yeah all right yeah we've also got his little um table on the back here oh yeah how does that yeah. work <gasps> how easy is that yeah that is pretty cool yeah i know there's a lot of people have dropped down tables and things but that yep. is really simple having having this one over a um drop down one i can still open this drawer if i need to oh, so cool. if i had a drop down table there yeah it'd be in the way eh? yeah so i can still open that drawer and have stuff on there do whatever oh nice yeah yeah well, that's very tricky you just lift up yeah the thing is how we're at the back we might as well go through the back and just keep working around that way yeah okay so in the back i've got the uh drifter drawers yep and it's just their normal whatever you just a side by yeah, side yeah so pull out table like that they're, they're a great thing those tables eh yeah this drawer is mainly just um tools and that sort of miscellaneous sort of stuff yeah yeah and then this bigger drawer we're running it as a kitchen drawer nice. yeah so we got all our kitchen stuff in there Oh. Yeah. All very neat. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to rethink mine. I've got too much crap in my drawers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then uh, over, just move that out of the way. Aha. Uh -huh. So that is my big lithium thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a 100 amp hour and a drive lithium with a red arc dc dc charger yeah you just had to make it a little bit of a bigger cover to sit it in there yeah because it just yep oh that works well yeah i sat it up on there rather than um sitting it in here because i still need to be able to get into the side pocket yeah i could have like nearly got away with just having it sitting in there out of the way but you need to get into that side pocket there where the oh. jack and everything is oh yeah well it makes sense so i sat it there it's sort of on the wheel arch and i made that cover can put anything on there anyhow yeah yeah that's a good idea yeah and then i made this shelf up above 
Um, I just made that myself and that just holds, like we have the camp chairs there and you know, all yeah. sort of light stuff. Good use of space. Yeah. LED strip hanging off the bottom of it. Yeah, that just goes on with that switch there. I have these switches here. Um, so I can power them up. I've got a voltmeter there. Two SIGA sockets, two USB. Nice. Yeah. And these are these solar screens we were talking about before from the inside. So yeah. They do look like they do a good job. So we'll keep going around the back. See, we're sort of running around it in camping mode. Is the... Yeah. Jerry Hardy you were talking about earlier. Yeah, so we've got two Jerry's here. Yeah. Is that all the water you carry, mate? No, so in front of the draw system, I have a 35 litre tank as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Yeah. And Shad follows a few YouTubers as you. What's, it? Oh, what's, it? what's that one? Spooky. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, lots of them. Yeah. All right. Yes, this looks interesting. What do we got going on here? Yeah, so no back seat. No, for our recent trip, um, Tash and I did. We removed the back seat, and I just put the fridge there. Um, it worked really well for us, so we're pretty happy with it. So I think it might just stay like that. Why not? So no fridge slide. We saved. We used to have the fridge in the back and have that big drop-down fridge slide. Mm. So we're saving weight by not having the fridge slide. Yeah. So that's just hard mounted there, and it's just. Yeah, you know, it's just easier to get to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it works really good. It's a great idea. Yeah. Um, little camp cooker there. Just, that's oh, a little yeah. camp cooker. And we got the little net up the top. We put just light stuff. You put your jackets up there and things like that. Yeah, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Very neat, mate. Very neat. Yeah. And if you look in there, I got a um, some fuses for the second battery and also a charging station. Oh, yeah. I got my GoPro batteries on charge there and... Yeah. torch over the other side i've got to do that for mine yet i haven't yeah. <laughs> mine's way more messed up yeah so anyway very nice yeah think. so we've got a bit of room underneath i've got an axe and put longer stuff in there oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good idea. i put the fox wing poles and everything under there yeah everything um, sort of spot eh? yeah and then just behind this seat this got the grab bag here yeah so in the grab bag we got um first aid kit snake bite kit and i've got a plb in there as well oh, so nice. If anything happens, you just got to grab that bag and get out. Yeah, and it's that. orange too, so you can see it, see it easy. That's a good idea. And we're standing underneath the fox wing, so... Yeah. Like we said, guys, we've been camping this weekend, so it's all set up. That's right, yeah, so... And your sleeping arrangement on this occasion is a crash pad. Yeah, single swag and a, and a single stretcher. Yeah, and I just put that wall on there. It gives us like we've got a lot of room under here, haven't we? Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's surprising how much room there is. Yeah, because the weather hasn't been the kindest to us. Certainly not <laughs> this weekend. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's really got all the stuff you'd need. It's very well designed for touring. Yeah, and that's mostly what you do of it. It's not a rock rock, rock opera as such. Oh, we do no, not not. I don't do too many too much hard stuff. I've done a little bit of hard stuff, but not. Not too much, but it's mainly a tour. Like we've done um, this year, we've been up the Northern Territory and they were towing the camper, but yeah, oh, it's mainly nice. touring. Nice, yeah. very good. But we do take it down some harder stuff if we have to. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's the thing, isn't it? You got to design your truck to do whatever. And if you yeah. have to drive hard tracks, we have to drive hard tracks. Yeah, it's, it's a fine line to get it how you want it, but yeah. All right, well, that's all very good. Well, we'll be back in a second with a very short Q&A. Before we get to the Q&A, we forgot the engine. So, what do we got going on in here, Shad? So it's it's pretty much the standard um, V8 that they come with. Yeah. I have had it tuned recently. So it's got just a mild tune by down under diesel. It just makes it so much better to drive. Yeah, so, nice. I was quite surprised how much better it makes it to drive. I'm running the second Secondary fuel filter. Yeah. Yeah. And just a fuse box there. Oh, just to distribute everything. And yeah. Um, single battery on, in here. Yeah. Catch can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice spot for it. Yeah. It? I still have my, my 
second battery used to be there, but then when I upgraded to lithium, it's now in the back. Yeah. 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 yeah there's still debate on whether lithium's a good under bonnet. I have lithium under my bonnet, and they've been good, but yeah. there's yeah. still debates. But anyway, why not have it in the back? I have changed the brake booster to a double die fam. Oh, all right, yeah, that's brake a booster. common mod on 70s, isn't it? Yeah, so now this car has the bigger brake booster, um, braided brake lines, and I have the Bendix um, slot, slotted and... Oh, that would you forgot to talk about earlier. Yeah, the, rotors. the fancy rotors. Nice. And I'm just waiting on the the back ones are on back order. Uh-huh. So hopefully in a couple of weeks I'll have the back ones on. The back ones are on back order. That sounds yeah. funny. Yeah. The other thing we didn't do is look inside it because I'm really hopeless today. What have we got going on in here, Shad? Should I jump in the other side maybe or not? Um, you stay there. I'll, oh. I'll jump in the other side. All right. Shad's going to jump in the other side. Because he's got to find his way around everything. Here he comes. Got this reasonable amount going on in here too, mate. Yeah, so... Start anywhere you like. We've got the overhead console uh, with the CB UHF radio yep. in there. This one has the pocket map pocket thing. You can okay, put... cool. Yeah. And then the console is also aftermarket. I think, I forget, it's like cruiser consoles or oh, something yeah. like that. Yeah. That way I get a cup holder. Get a couple of cup holders. <laughs> yeah, seventies <70, 70's laughs> are not renowned for their cup holders, are they? No. Nah, yeah. Um, the the stereo is still standard. Um, I do have a, a like a voltmeter here. Okay. Yeah. So it tells me the voltage of both batteries. So oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, we can see that the second battery, the lithium, is still sitting on thirteen three. Cool. Start batteries twelve eight. I like to have that. So when you start your car, and you start driving you can see that your second battery has started charging yeah 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 i think that's pretty important that's a good idea yeah um this car's there's the diff lock switch it's got front and rear diff locks from factory oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's the upper spec model yeah 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 we're running the black duck seat covers well, well used too eh? yeah yeah mm. yeah how do you find them they good yeah they're the canvas ones yeah yeah oh nice and we have the um the bedrock mats, pretty dirty. Doing their job there. Yeah. And the, we've got the... Um, got a throttle controller here. Yeah. And the, the EVC, I drive, hold them at the nine. They've changed names a few times. Yeah. And I've got a scan gauge. Oh, the EDS scan tool. Yeah. Cool, and what, what am I looking at here, mate? Really? The one stone armrest. Yeah. They're just about essential on the 70, aren't they? Yeah. Everybody yeah. uses them. They, they're really, really awesome. Yeah, and I've put in a aftermarket cruise control because this is a 2016 model. Yeah, never came with cruise control. All right. Yeah. So oh, and you've got it just down through there. Just yeah, like yeah. it almost looks factory. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have known. Yeah. 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 So that's probably my. That was a really good mod for the trip. I'm telling you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I drive a truck and cruise, and I know. Yeah. I'd, I'd be sad yeah. if I didn't have it. Yeah. I got the quad lock. From my phone my phone just sits up there nice just locks into that and when you lock it in it should start charging oh yeah it'll start charging there oh, yeah. it's pretty cool isn't it yeah well that looks like pretty well the interior yeah and um, oh, fire extinguisher up the back we didn't talk about before yeah, yeah. And well sorted mate yeah. in the back door we go <laughs> yeah so we got the fire extinguisher on that side yeah yeah i've got another snake bite kit here oh yeah um yeah. just got, got everyone knows it's here it's ready yeah. to go like last thing like you know i hopefully never ever have to use it but yeah last thing you want to do is be wondering where you put your your first aid kit or your snake bite exactly. kit. so you've got to keep that handy you've got these pockets up here it's pretty good to keep you know stuff yeah they're nice and we've got our rain jackets hanging there that's those two things hanging yeah. there yeah and the uh, MSA pocket thing. Seat organizer. Yeah. There's just nothing you haven't got in here, Shad. Yeah. There's a, lots and lots of stuff. Very nice. Right. And one more thing. There's more. Yeah. It just never ends, guys. <laughs> I got my ARB air compressor under the seat. Oh, under the seat. Yeah. Okay. And I have an outlet here and an outlet on the passenger side. Oh, so nice. just yeah. plug in the tyre 
and the switches for those are uh, there's a compressor switch there. All right, very good. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just going to be. It can't be much left to do to this thing, right? It's got to be just about done. Oh, I always, know there's always something to do. There's but... always something to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I think just the back suspension, and that's probably it. I was maybe one day I might put some of those uh, gold wing oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. type windows there, but they're pretty expensive. Yeah, so. and you've got pretty good access in there yeah. anyway. So yeah. now I've got the fridge out. It's sort of working really good as it is now. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Yeah. All right, well now, I think I haven't forgotten anything now. Now we'll be back in a minute with our quick runny 30 second or minute or two minute or five minute discussion and questions and answers. So we'll see you then. All right, sitting down the front here with Shad body before the rain comes in. I thought we'd have a quick talk about it. So, your your truck has got a lot of gear on it, Chad. Yeah, I just, <laughs> just realised that. <laughs> it, it, is, it has got some gear. So, we're going to try and narrow you down, mate. What do you think your top three modifications would be on this thing? Yeah, well. <laughs> I know, it's hard. Yeah. There's so many. Yeah. But what do you reckon? Have um, a guess. Oh, for, this, for this truck, I, I would have to say... Um, for me like this year like it's gonna sound dumb but the cruise control was good eh? yeah, yeah. The cruise control is a good mod but but other than that you'd have to say um, wheels and tires yep yeah they're always handy yeah you've got to have good wheels and tires and um, the snorkel it's good to have a good snorkel yeah, yeah. get that waiting depth sorted yeah Pepsi Max this morning guys because we're in the morning okay <laughs> Is there any mods you've done that you don't like or you wouldn't do again? Or? Well, I took that drop down fridge slide out. I yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they're, they're heavy bloody thing, aren't they? Yeah, so yeah. These days with GVMs and weights and stuff, we don't want to make it any harder on ourselves. Yeah, if somebody's looking at a 76, I think you can still get them, can't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what would you say they should look for if they get either a new one or a second hand one? What do they need to look out for? Is there any problems, underlying problems, modifications that you must do? What do you think? Um, for a well, touring setup. Yeah, if you're looking at an older one, like a second hand one, it's just, the, I suppose, the normal stuff you've got to look at, like how many Ks, you know, make sure it's been serviced all the time. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, wheel bearings. With these, you've got to do your wheel bearing service every 20,000. Yeah. So um, you've got to keep on top of those sort of things because it is a, uh, it's yeah. still that old, um, that old setup underneath, yeah. like, which is good. That's why I liked it. So, yeah. Solid yeah. axles. Yeah. Good strong diffs and all the good stuff. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, well, so there's not much goes wrong with them. There's not much you got to do to them. They're pretty, pretty easy going vehicles. They're not high tech things like bloody 200s and stuff. So it makes it nice and easy. Yeah, a lot of people um, change the seats in them, but we haven't, we haven't found that uh, need to do that yet. Okay. Yeah, right. we're happy with, quite happy with the factory seats. But I, I do know like a common complaint, common complaints for these is the seats, no cup holders. But, yeah. yeah. I mean. You, you can live with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the wheel track. But, but yeah. That wheel track's probably the, the big thing on them, isn't it? That he yeah. Would have behaved way better when you changed the track, wouldn't it? It was a different car. Yeah. yeah. The change in the wheel track and getting the tune has made it a different car completely. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, what are you... Uh, well, they're never finished. We said that before. What do you think your future plans are for it apart we you've told us about the back suspension what else you got in mind um so yeah obviously i talked about the back suspension i'd like to do that and then maybe the gull wings but that's there'll be nothing else really major that i do to it it'll, it'll just be um just a little just refining down the setup now i suppose yeah, yeah. yeah. work out whether i'm going to leave the back seat that back seat area because yeah, like, mm -hmm. that was just a quick job for when we went away uh, whether I do something 
better with the backseat area. Or, well, it's working nicely for you. Yeah, it is good. Kind of used to it now. Yeah. It was only a temporary thing, but now I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks yeah. the part. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what else there's left to talk about. I think we've covered pretty well everything we can cover. It's a touring truck. It does tow a camper trailer occasionally. So you've got it pretty versatile. You can camp in any fashion you really want, haven't you? So yeah, yeah, we can tow the camper or come out with the fox wing and swag it like this. The car's set up with that drawer, so we don't have to be packing and unpacking stuff from the camper trailer or whatever. It's just this car's ready to go. It stays packed like this all the time. That, that's really cool. I know you've done a big trip recently out to the Territory and through the centre and stuff, but what's probably the best four-wheel drive trip touring excursion you think you've been on? I know you've been on a few, so yeah. think back. You don't have to be the last one. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I'd have to I'd narrow it down to two. Um, Simpson Desert is great. Like, yep. Yeah, I can definitely say that if you haven't, if no, anyone hasn't done the Simpson Desert and you're thinking of doing it, just go and do it. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah it's and, nice. Yeah, and the, another good trip is the um, Big High Country. I, I love it down the Victorian Yeah, it is country. nice there yeah. too, yeah. 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 yeah, all the little campsites next to the rivers and the, the hill climbs and everything. You can't, you just can't beat it. No, it's yeah. good. It's good. All right, well, I don't think we've got too much more to talk about. If you guys haven't been on Shad's channel, go and have a look at it. He's got a lot of good stuff there, and you see a lot of his trips, a lot of his mods, way more than anything I can show you here, just a quick look at his truck. And um, yeah, that's uh, that, uh, all the links will be below, or in the bottom of the screen, or up here, somewhere. But uh, you'll find it anyway, trust me. All right, thanks very much for showing us your truck, Shad. It's, no worries, it's, mate. It's, it's a been pleasure. great to have a look. Yeah. And if you guys like this kind of content, put a like on it, it helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And to the old hands, well hang on, click the notification bell, don't forget that. To the old hand, thanks again for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my clips. And like I said earlier, if you haven't been on Shad's channel, get on it. It's, it's worth it, really. All right guys, thanks very much. Just get out there. See ya. work with that we'll work with that we will this microphone is fantastic It'll pick up every bloody one so which GoPro is that one it's an old seven okay this is the one that's going into semi-retirement when I get a 10 I'm going to set up the vlogging rig on the 10 yeah. with the radio mics and stuff when they're actually charged up Blue, I've just used the shit out of the last two days, it's probably why. Oh. Uh.